one fifty six. Right. Uh, fifty seven. Sorry. Fifty six. So, been in the hospital since the twenty first of July. So, um, just shy of three months at the moment. Came in because of uh, pressure sore. from ITU initially. Um, he has spina bifida and uh, that's what essentially um, led for him to have uh, the pressure also that he came in with. Uh, basically it all started uh, shortly after he went into lockdown. Um, normally I'd work in the office, in legal services. So I basically had my kind of job and uh, we were then told, well, as everybody else was told, work from home where you can. Because of the fact that I've got lack of feeling, you know, well, reduced feeling in the backs of my legs because of the spinal bifida, that obviously causes a bit of a problem. Um, whereas I, I can feel pressure, but I can't feel pain. And knowing that I'm prone to ulcers, well, pressure sores, um, I made sure that I was sat on a cushion to try and prevent pressure sores from happening. And um, unfortunately, that didn't work. And I ended up with a pressure sore on my left leg. And uh, it got to a point where I had to come into my home. It's been about three occasions where I've had pressure sores in a, a particular area and they've all healed up, no problem whatsoever, uh, but this one was different somehow, I don't know why, but uh, it just would not heal up. And obviously the result of being obviously in here. So we knew we had um, grade 4 pressure also. Um, when it came to us, he already had the dressing on, so uh, we, we just seen the size of it mostly, but not the whole depth and everything. Um, but we knew it was a really large wound. Um, for me, it was the biggest top scene for Maria. They operated because some of the skin had become necrotic, so they cut in, debriding all the skin, all the dead skin. Uh, and then um, he had a split skin graft, uh, two, I believe, actually. Some of it has taken and it helped the heal part of the wound, yes. Just a matter of now of waiting for it to heal up, which it is slowly. It's inconvenient to say the least. Um, this has had probably more of a marked effect because of the fact that I'm in hospital. Um, I'm not at work, obviously. I'm not at home. So it's just a lot of disruption in terms of, uh, sort of private life. Um, it's probably just getting back to a normal kind of routine, really. Um, home life, um, getting back to work as well, social life, that kind of stuff. Uh, which is what you miss from here. 